Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today we're really excited to be taking a look at the new Bauer Vapor 1X ice hockey skates versus the original APX2s. In this video we're going to be showing you what Bauer has changed on these new 1X skates versus the older Vapor line. So as always we're going to start at the base of the skate and work our way up to the top taking a look at what's been changed. When we look at the 1X ice hockey skates you can see that Bauer is giving us the LS4 stainless over here. This is going to be a higher grade of stainless steel that they're using on the skate over here. The blade also sits 3mm higher off the ice than what we've seen with the previous runners. Um, for example, if we take a look at the APX2s which feature the fusion blades, which is that mix of the aluminium and stainless steel put together to reduce the weight, but offers still um, a good quality blade. So it's good to see that straight off the bat they're giving us some improvements over there with the 1X skates with the new LS4 stainless. So the kind of improvements that you can expect to notice while you're on the ice is going to be a greater turning radius again, which is one of the things that the vapor liner skates are known for, the agility and mobility on the ice. It's also going to help you to be able to preserve that edge a little bit longer because they're using a better quality and a better grade of stainless steel. So there's going to be lots of different advantages for you to enjoy. From there, taking a look at the holders, we're going to be looking at the light speed edge holder, which is of course the Tuke, the Bauer are renowned for. This is going to be the exact same holder featured on the um, new 1X skate that was featured on the APX2, so there's not going to be any differences here. But a quick summary of the advantages of the light speed edge holder compared to the um, Tuke light speed, which is the previous generation of holders, is that this sits 3mm higher to give you a greater turning radius on the ice. So this is going to benefit your agility, your tighter turns, um, stop you from bottoming out when you hit those corners nice and tightly um, when you're trying to get to the puck as quick as you can. It also features this trigger system over here, which allows you to snap out your steel in a matter of seconds. One of my favorite things about these holders is going to be that trigger system, because what I like to do is keep a backup of blades. So anytime you want to get your skates sharpened and you might not be able to make it to a pro shop, you can just switch out the steel and get back on the ice. Real good advantage over here. From here, we're going to be taking a look at the outsoles of the 1X skates feature from Bauer. These feature a fully composite, lightweight, incredibly stiff and rigid outsole, which is going to be excellent for energy transfer. So any of the movement that you make inside the skate is going to be able to be quickly translated onto the blade, giving you excellent responsiveness. They also feature the four exhaust holes that you can see on the base, which are used to wick away any excess heat and moisture that builds up inside the skate. They're going to work along with the moisture management systems inside the liners of this boot to keep you incredibly comfortable and dry while you're on the ice. Taking a look at what Bauer have got on the original APX2s, we can already see that this is going to be pretty similar to what we've got over here. Of course the outsole is going to be using some slightly newer technologies than what's been featured on the APX2s, but it's still the same basic system with the exhaust holes that you can see over there. So there's not a lot of visual changes there, but of course the performance speaks for itself when these new 1X skates are on the ice. So from there we're going to be taking a look at the quarter package of the 1X skates, which is where we're going to see a lot of the new technology that Bauer has included, including technology directly derived from the Odin line of skates. First thing that we're going to notice if we flip the skate to the back is going to be the upgraded X-rib patterning on the back. This is what the uh, Vapor line of skates is renowned for, that X-rib that gives you that unbeatable stability and also that wrapping around the skate that we like out straight out of the box. But what Bauer are doing over here by upgrading this is not only increasing the support and stability that the X-rib patterning offers on the new 1X skates, but it's also going to be much, much lighter than what we've seen previously compared to the APX2s. So not only are you getting a more supportive skate, a skate that's going to be able to outperform what you've used and what we've seen previously from Bauer, the overall weight of the boot is also going to be much less than what we've seen with the APX2s. Along the sides, we can also see that Bauer is using that aluminized um, wrapping around the upper of the skates. This is purely going to be for the aesthetics of the boot, just to help it look a lot better than um, what we would have seen previously with the vapor line. Uh, but that has no benefit for you on the ice besides making you look nice and sharp. Taking a look at the upper sections of the boot, especially the ankle region over here, this is the first time Bauer are going to be using the curved composite uppers for the ankle support and wrapping along the top portions of the skate over here. Previously on the APX2s and some of the other lines of vapor skates, they used injected plastic, but now we're seeing some new technology over there to offer you much better control, support, and also responsiveness on the ice, which is always going to be a plus. And these skates are also going to be fitting slightly differently to the um, vapor line that we've seen previously. These are going to offer a lot more wrapping and contouring around your foot, so you're going to get a much more custom fit in these skates when we compare them to what we've seen previously. So from there we're going to be taking a look at the injected stability lacing system. We first saw this on the APX skates and then we also saw it on the APX2s and the MX3s. In terms of what's been changed when we compare the lacing system to the original APX2s, it's going to be the fact that on the 1X skates it offers much more contouring around the forefoot of the skate which is going to help you get more power out of each stride that you take on the ice. But most importantly, Bauer have also added the same upgrade that we saw on the MX3s, which was the fourth and fifth eyelets of the injected stability lacing system, had that lace locking system that was introduced on the MX3 skates. What this means is that when you're tightening up, tightening up your laces, you're going to be able to get a much more consistent job every time you tie your laces up, giving you that great performance and that consistent performance on the ice, 
without having to worry about retightening your laces every time you sit down on the bench. Next, we're gonna be looking at the comfort edge that we can see on these two skates over here. If you look at this one over here on the APX2s, you can see that it goes down the side of the skate much, much more. But when we look at the new 1X Bauer Vapor skates, you can see that it's a lot less drastic and it's only a tiny bit over there. So all Bauer is doing over here is refining their designs and only using the materials that are necessary to not only reduce the weight of the boot, but also to make sure its performance is gonna be unmatched on the ice. So let's take a quick look at the tongue and take a look at what Bauer have changed over here. When we look at the original APX2s, you can see that they featured a plastic insert inside the um, tongue over here to act as a metatarsal guard to prevent lace bite and also to offer a bit of protection against um, maybe stick slashes and some puck impacts on the um, top part of the tongue. In terms of the tongue itself, it was fairly, fairly thick. You can see that offers good support. It's gonna last a long time. It's not gonna be one of those tongues that's flimsy and breaks down quite quickly into you using the boot, which is always good. And it offers that nice traditional feel with the um, felt on the inside there for us to offer that nice comfort and good support on the ice. Taking a look at the um, 1X skates, you can see Bauer have done things a little bit different over here. Instead of using a plastic insert in the um, front of the section over here for the metatarsal guard, they're using curved composite. The benefits of that is in terms of each stride that you take, there's going to be a little bit more spring back in the strides. So it's going to be similar to what we saw in the MX3s and the NXGs with those um, curved composite inserts that you could attach, except these ones don't come out and you, know, you don't get three different choices to be able to choose between. It's just going to be the ones that are in there, but they offer that nice spring back action. Aside from that, it's also going to be a much, much lighter piece of um, material to be using inside the tongue to keep the skate nice and well balanced and also nice and lightweight. And it's also going to offer some great protection against six slashes and high pucks to the um, top section of your um, skates over here. In terms of the tongue, it's going to be pretty much what we've seen on the um, APX2s in terms of its thickness. You can see that it offers you that nice um, cushiony thickness with a nice white felt in there that's going to give you that traditional feel that we're used to, but most importantly, it's going to give you that great comfort support. And also, let's not forget about once these skates are baked, it's going to offer you that nice wrapping and contouring around the top of your foot to increase your fit and um, comfort inside these boots. We're also going to take a quick look at the tendon guards of the new um, 1X skates compared to the APX2s. You can see Bauer's doing something a little bit different here with the design. I think this looks a lot cleaner. It also offers a little bit more support and durability. So hopefully we're going to see a little bit more um, longer life out of the uh, tendon guards that are featured on the 1X skates when we compare them to the original APX2s. So something that a lot of us might have been expecting to see was a similar tendon support system like we saw in the MX3s, which offered a little bit of flex. But with the Vapor line of skates, especially these 1X Bowers, it's all about that aggressive pitch and that quick acceleration, which is what this uh, tendon support system that they included is all about. It's a little bit stiffer and hopefully we're going to see good durability out of this one in the long term. One of the final parts that we're going to be looking at is going to be the inside of these two skates. Starting off with the APX2s, Bauer used the Hydromax 2 liners with these boots over here. That had some excellent moisture management systems and properties that worked along with those holes or perforations that we showed you at the base of the skate that wicked away any moisture into the liners and out through the perforations or holes of the base. Taking a look at the inside of the 1X skates from Bauer, this is where we're going to see that new technology really come through because they're doing something with the internal liners of these skates that we've never seen before. Bauer using the 37.5 liner with these boots. The way this material is constructed is millions of tiny particles that are embedded into the fabrics of the inside liners of the boot. These particles that are embedded into the fabrics work a lot like hot rocks in a sauna that evaporate any moisture rather than just wicking it away. So when we compare this type of technology to the previous liners that we've seen on the APX2s, the way those liners worked is that they draw in the moisture from your body, wick it away through the liners of the skates and then out through the perforations. But the first negative with this type of technology is that that moisture is still inside the liners of those skates, which means the liners are going to stay wetter for longer and they're going to, there's going to be an increase in the weight of the, of the boot the more you play on the ice. The way the 37.5 material works is that moisture off of your body that's inside your skates is attracted onto the fabrics of the liner and it actually uses your body heat to evaporate that moisture. So this isn't going to just collect that water and keep it inside the liners until it's filtered out through the holes at the bottom of the skate. It's actually going to get rid of that moisture and turn it into vapor, which is at the end of the day, it's a gas, which means that it's not going to affect the performance, the weight of the skate. The second thing that that does, it's also going to help to keep your foot locked into place inside this boot because as the liners of a skate gets wet, you're going to lose that grip and that material that's created to be able to keep your feet locked into place. So this is going to have countless benefits for skaters of lots of different abilities. So we're really excited to see this and we hope it's something that Bauer is going to continue on the full line of new vapor skates that we can expect to see. An additional benefit of this new liner is that if you're playing at tournaments for the weekend or you're away playing, um, for example, at pond hockey tournaments and your skates are going to be used multiple times, they're going to dry much, much quicker than some of the other previous lines that we've seen from Bauer. 
And before we move on from the liners, we're also going to be taking a look at these nice wear patches that Bauer include along the sides over here. These are renowned spots inside Bauer skates that normally get worn away quite quickly after you've been using the skates for some time. It's exactly the same thing that we saw in the APX2, so it's good to see that they've continued these wear patches and adapted them for the um, new 1X Bauer skates. But in terms of changes, there's absolutely no changes with these. They're both exactly the same thing. From there, we're going to be taking a look at the footbeds of these two skates. If I just pop this one along the side so we can look at the APX2s. This was Bauer's Form Fit Plus footbed, which had those gripping materials along the sides over there, that rubbery tack to um, stop your um, heel from bobbing up and down and slipping inside the skate. And it also had the holes or perforations of the base to help um, with moisture management system of the liners. And they also included these um, little extension bits over here that were meant to give you a little bit more comfort along the um, toe caps of the skates. These could be removed. But in terms of the actual support of the footbed, you can see that it's just a piece of... Uh, foam. There's not really a lot of support over here and um, besides the heel section which was a little bit tougher. But when we look at the new one from Bauer, this is the one that's going to be featured inside the 1X skate. This is Bauer's new speed plate. Now this is going to be something that is brand new that we've not seen on any other Bauer skates before. The way this system works is that not only is the entire skate heat moldable so you can get this baked and it contours to the shape of your foot, but also the footbed does the same thing as well. So you're able to heat this up and let it mold to the shape of your foot to be able to give you an even better custom fit. But what that's going to do is you can see that this is no longer foam. This is actually solid plastic and it's very, very stiff. It's not something that I can actually bend with my hands. It's incredibly stiff. Now this is going to be used to increase the amount of surface area or contact area that you have inside the skate. So there's going to be more of your foot planted to the base of the skate when you use these things and you have them baked. And what that's going to result in is much more responsiveness on the ice, much greater energy transfer and much more control and balance because there's going to be a bigger portion of your foot in contact with the skate, which is going to make the skate feel like an extension of your foot itself. This is definitely a new step in Bowers technology and we hope that this is something that's continued because it's really going to revolutionize the way players feel and move around on the ice. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this video is giving you a bit more information because when new skates come out from the same line, you kind of sit there and wonder what the hell have they changed. Hopefully this video is giving you a bit more information on what Bauer have changed from the APX2s when we compare them to the new 1X Vapors. If you want more information as always, link down below in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos and you want to see more of them. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything that we do. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links will be down below if you want to click on those. Make sure you follow us so you can see some cool pictures of what we do behind the scenes. And also you'll be able to see some clips of me messing up because trust me, these videos aren't as smooth as they look. But thanks for watching guys and take care till next time. Subscribe.